take your seats. For those of you who are joining us from around the world, we are in Lago di Garda in Italy, and we'd like to welcome you to our live streaming. Let's give them a nice warm welcome. <clears throat> I think that there's enough energy in this room to heal the planet. <clears throat> this is our third global meditation, and it's called Project Coherence. And this beautiful, beautiful world that we live in, with its majestic mountains and its beautiful, pristine rivers, and the desert skies, and the planets, stars, <clears throat> the fresh air that we breathe, the species of animals that inhabit our earth, <clears throat> the plants and the fauna, the foliage that give oxygen and air for us to breathe, is a unique and delicate balance, and it keeps us sustaining life. We're living in a time of extremes, and the extremities that are being created are both a reflection of an old consciousness that can no longer survive in a future, and the earth itself wanting to transform herself. And because everything is moving towards extremes, many of the current systems, whether it's political or economic, religious, educational, medical, the environment, are all being pulled apart in certain ways. Some of it is a reflection of human beings' choices and their own personal levels of awareness. And I believe that we are more than just material beings, matter, bodies, particles. That there's an element of us that connects us to a field of intelligence that unifies us to one another and to everything and everyone. And that the emotions that put us in survival, like hatred and prejudice and anger and fear, competition and pain and separation, are all the things that seduce us into believing that we're separate from this field. And yet, light and information, energy and consciousness or awareness can't be separated. And we are more than just physical beings. That we have a field of energy that we have access to. Earth has its own electromagnetic field, has its own field of information that we draw off of, that we live with, in harmony or out of harmony. And we now know that when you begin to raise your energy and open your heart, that you produce a bigger electromagnetic field. We know that when you have that energy causing the field around your body to expand, that that frequency or energy carries information. And you can direct that energy and that energy exists beyond the senses. And it allows us to begin to affect matter and all the things that are a downward causation of it, materialism. And that in order for us to begin to make an effect on this world, we have to come from a place of love. And this unified field that quantum physics has struggled to measure and quantify, to me, is a loving intelligence and intelligent love. And it exists beyond the senses. And the way that we have access to it 
is when we get beyond ourselves and become an awareness, a consciousness, a thought, in a realm that exists beyond the senses. And so, when we do this meditation, for everybody in this room and for everybody that's watching, it's going to require you to open your heart and to raise your energy. And if you do it properly, it will produce a coherent electromagnetic signature, which will begin to entrain everyone and everything that you're in contact with. And as you know, there's been enough studies on peace gathering to reduce crime and violence and war and strife and struggle and to increase economic growth. And it's up to us then, when we change our energy, with a greater level of awareness that it should begin to unify communities that were once separate, believing that they matter. And I think that if enough people do it, and we do it enough times, we should be able to not only measure the changes in energy and frequency around the world, but we should be able to measure it by changes in all the events that take place in our future. <clears throat> So I have my dear friend and colleague, Barry Goldstein, who is going to play live music for us. <clears throat> and when I ask you to feel, when I ask you to open your heart, I want you to take a big chance and open it up and feel, because it's that energy that begins to change matter, and that I believe that we have all of the machinery to do this. So let's take the journey and raise the consciousness, the awareness, and the energy of this planet to see if we can begin to produce changes in the future. How does that sound? <clears throat> so those of you who are watching from somewhere in the world, I'm going to ask you to shut your cell phone off, close the door, Get in a place where you can separate yourself from the people, environment, things in your life and have enough time and space to go within. Let's begin. Sit up straight. Eyes closed. Take a breath and breathe in the power of love. And breathe out any limitation within you. Breathe in life breathe out fear and in this infinite black space behind your eyes in space become aware of the vastness of space. Way out beyond 
beyond you. How deep does it go? How wide is eternity? Is this blackness before you? It's all around you. Become aware that it's behind you. And on both sides of you. Become aware. That you're aware in this infinite vast. There's nobody, no one, in nothing, As pure consciousness, become aware in this infinite void that you're inside. the earth, become aware that you're aware inside a sphere. sense it all around you. In this eternal, vast space. Thank you.
radiate this feeling of love in the space within its center in space and to give life to life of our mother Stay present with it. And in care. In love. In joy. Let your energy Carry the thought, the intent, that your love heal the sacred place. that everything in it and on it be altered by your energy. Feel it. Become more aware of it. Stay present with it. That all life be enriched. Loving the earth into life. As if you are moving into space, further away from the earth, view it, from space, see it in its glory. 
our home. Sustaining life. And in this infinite, vast space, become aware of the space. take the earth and place it in the center of your chest and love it into life Breathe in the power of love and feel it. And breathe out your intent to heal it. it closer into your heart and think of the trees the oceans its mountains and deserts Think of its landscapes and pastures, its creatures of all species. Harmony, balance, and feel. with it, become aware of it, feel it, it's in you, and let it grow in you. Become more aware of intelligent love. Feel it. It's within you.
And remember to keep the earth close to your heart. And let your love for life heal all of life. And all people of all races and cultures live in harmony because we are And every time you open your heart, the earth notices Every time you give, it notices. Every time you serve, it's aware. Every time you give thanks, it feels you. When we feel awe for a sunset, wonder night sky, gentle breeze caressing us, and the love for a flower, we are connected to it. We give energy to its field. And now move away and notice that planet 
in space. And remember, you're living on it. Citizen of the Earth. Bless it. Give thanks to it. Admire it. Celebrate it. Care for it. Take time to be aware of it. Take care of it. And now, in reverence, in grace. in your heart. Feel it. And so in closing, for those people tuning in. It's not enough to meditate on peace or to meditate on change. It's not enough to just meditate on wholeness and oneness for this planet. It's going to require all of us to demonstrate it in all areas of our life. But the change that we want to see in the world has to first start with ourselves. And if there's things that we don't like in the world, we should first look to see if any of that is within us. 
And I think if we work in making those changes within us and demonstrate peace and demonstrate change, not in a violent or arrogant way, but in an empowered way, if we keep demonstrating over and over again, we will become the very change we would like to see in the world. Thank you for listening.